Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. That's far enough. Something wrong, officer? You better hope there isn't. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Elanis Risk Control Services. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Ovaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Citadel authority supersedes yours. Let's not start a fight. If you think this is best, Commander. Captain Matsuo, stand down! We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Weapons detectors, don't mind the alarms. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I can't have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an Asari lawyer to see the case through. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Benezia? She is here? Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. No, we don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're a part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in.
You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain space-born vagabonds. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Business has come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanshan. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeas. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... Oh, what is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Violence against Mr. Analeas' thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep bloodstains off the carpets, would you? Freeze! Hanshan Security. This office is sealed. Lorik Keen gave me a pass in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. 
Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Kill them all. Shepard. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. You have me at a disadvantage, miss... Oh. Now you're gonna show some respect? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling. Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off-world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off-duty, breaking the law for bribe money. I didn't want to fight them. They fired first. Well, I don't need a gun to rip you to pieces. Take cover! Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? It's probably Analeas' thugs ripping the place apart. Smart ass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. Why is an internal affairs agent here? The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. Analeas is dirty. It might be best to help her. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You Spectres play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. All right. I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Enelaus. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Everyone on this station is chafing under Enelaus's extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board is investigating Enelaus. They'll be more angry at him than at you. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. 
I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? I took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a Spectre and all. I guess some of you can be alright. So, how about getting me into the garage? While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage! I'll see that you never work in this sector again! Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. See, these are what the Matriarch had in the crates. What did you do here, Commander? Me? I'm the victim here. The Geth attacked us. Geth, you expect me to... Where did they come from? If I were to guess, the Matriarch packed them in the shipping container she arrived with. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. If Benezia Sama's containers were packed with these things, there are many more out there. I need numbers, Captain. A dozen? A hundred? Dozens, at least. They're machines. You could pack them tightly. I must report to the executive board. If word gets out about loose geth, there may be an investor panic. Biology is not my field. Maybe someone in the labs knows. Like you're trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? You're the virtual intelligence that runs this place? This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? Commander Shepard, I work for the Citadel Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. One moment, please. Council authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. 
privileged access is only available to Binary Helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within Peak 15. I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. Now arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. Stand down. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. I'd only be upset if they'd fired. Even hopped up on stems, my people know the rule. Two legs good, four legs bad. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot, but I'd like to know who you are. My name's Shepard. I'm a specter. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out and... He ain't all there anymore. The first we knew, the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. You were taken by surprise and had civilians to protect. You did a good job, Captain. Yeah? Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. Benezia. Is she still over there? I don't know. I don't see what one person could do. A matriarch has the skill to keep herself alive for a long time. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell! Man the perimeter! Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? Wait, is there an Asari matriarch here? Asari? I have not seen one. She is safe then, at Rift Station. Uh, this is not important. You must be listening. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. They brought it here to wake it up? Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Obviously, they were wrong. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. 
I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates bursts of Neutron radiation, kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. How do we set off the Purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will give Mira destruct. <laughs> Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Um, uh, six Emperor Tyran from... <coughs> Verified. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. I'm sorry about this, Shepard. We've got orders from Venezia. Open fire! You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara is here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told her about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been stricter with her.
This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will... You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. So you could turn on me again? Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. Someone on Novaria found it? Two thousand years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the Relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the Relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh You should... Oh, you should... Mother, I... Don't leave! Fight him! You've always made me proud, Liara. Die! I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on! We've got Metagel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother! Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are 
colorless. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange. Flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings, and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. You are not in harmony with those who hoped to control us. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? The Rachni were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve her. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us or return our people to the silence of memory. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No. We... I... do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, Perhaps we would return. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. Look, this is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, do not cut me off like last time. I failed to find it amusing. Whoops. And we're out. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. <sighs> that is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. 
We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. It'll depend on the situation. I'm not committing to anything until I've got him in my sights. Fair enough. Either way, I'm right behind you, Commander. Feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the Conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Tally. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I didn't bring you along as a favor, Tally. You're here because you contribute to the mission, and I need all the help I can get on this one. Don't worry. You can always count on me. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it.